Sorry, Snoopy. You can't go with us. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. Woof. So it looks like the car cover kind of blew off with all the wind, so I'm gonna have to take it off anyways. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, my name is Mike. So in today's video, if you haven't guessed already or if you have no idea what this is, this is a NRG harness bar. Sorry if there's any wind. It's like super, super windy today. And it actually looks like it might rain later, but I'm gonna try and install this super quickly. This is a harness bar I got from a good friend of mine, Kevin. He recently sold his STI. You guys can check out his STI on the channel as well if you wanna see how his car looked like. But he had this in his car and it was actually a really good idea because the way my harnesses are mounted, they're actually just mounted to the back seat, which makes the whole rear seat basically useless. I'm actually lucky that I haven't been pulled over because I'm pretty sure if I had a passenger at the back here with these harnesses, it probably wouldn't look like the safest thing. We're gonna be taking this bottom cushion off, unbolting the harnesses and installing the new harness piece. Hopefully this fits since this is an NRG universal harness bar and um, should be a really easy install and it should make the interior of the car look a lot better. So this piece and uh, this the top piece mounts up to here where your seat belts are and then the lower one mounts up to the bottom here. Put your hand close to the tab and then just pull up. And then this should slide forward. So this is off and then we just need, it looks like 17s. So this is how I have the harnesses mounted. There's 17 mil bolts here, just bolted in. It was fine, it, I didn't have like any issues with it, but it does look a lot cleaner with the harness bar. And I think that's how it's supposedly supposed to like use harness through a harness bar. Hopefully the harness bar doesn't touch the seat since it is really wide here and that's the only thing I'm worried about. All right, so now that we have the first piece of the harness off, we can go ahead and put this bolt back right where we got it, and everything should be back to normal. So now that we have the two harnesses all disconnected, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the trim. I've never actually seen a clip like this. I'm not too sure how it comes off. I'll probably just like that then. But I'm gonna try not to break any clips because it does look like I have to take off this piece, this bottom piece here that goes all the way up to access the bolts for the seat belt, and then I can bolt in the harness bar. It's kind of tricky. You kind of have to like take the side one off and then push this one forward, but then I was able to get it off. I'm not too sure how this connects to here. Oh, just like that. All right. This one looks like it should be easy. I'm gonna check. I have to take off anything in the front of the car. Oh geez, maybe I have to take this off too. This is gonna have to take two hands. So this piece over here kind of went on like that. It was pretty easy. There wasn't any bolts or many clips. It kind of just clipped off. This one I'm kind of just working on. I think I got this side off for the most part. It looks like, looking at it here, it looks like it wants to go down and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unclip the passenger side. Hopefully this all comes out pretty easily. It looks like this black piece is on top of this white piece. So it looks like there's only one 10 mil bolt here and maybe another one inside here and this whole thing should just pop off and I should access to bolt up this uh, harness bar. So now that I have everything apart, I'm kind of realizing that I probably should have test fitted the harness bar first to see if it's even wide enough. I think I should be okay. I might as well just test fit it now, I guess. All right, so looking at what I have to do to take off that gray piece, I have to take off the weather stripping because the weather stripping actually sandwiches these two pieces together. So I ended up taking some of it off um, and now it comes off a lot easier. Now that this is all, all off, I have access to the one bolt that I need. I'm thinking I might actually have to delete the seat belt, but before I unbolt anything, I'm gonna try and take off the other side and I'm gonna try and test fit the harness bar and try and take off the other side as well to see if it'll actually fit. Before I go ahead and attempt to test fit this harness bar, I am going to unbolt this 
like long rods here that goes like beneath the seat or something just so it's a little easier to carry the whole thing into the car. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, it's, it's gonna fit. Pretty sure it's gonna fit, so we're good. Alright, so now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and take apart the other side. Basically do the exact same thing as uh, before, taking this piece off and then this one and then bolting in the harness and then bolting in the harness bar. I'm not too sure how to wrap it. I might call Kevin and ask how he did it or I might just jimmy rig away. I'm not too sure. I'm going to go ahead and see how um, I can do this. Okay, so now that we have everything on, or everything off rather, is this supposedly supposed to move up and down? And you won't be able to move up and down if there's a bar connecting it together. So if I have to delete the seat belt, I'm gonna have to take this piece off, and I think this at the bottom, I'm gonna have like an airbag light or something. I'm gonna have to see what I can do, because everything else is self-explanatory up until this point. Okay, so I might need your help, Josh, but there is a bolt here. I'm gonna have to give it to you and to hold the other side and bolt the other side up. Grab this side just so it's a little easier. Yeah, I was like, he's pretty short. <laughs> oh, dude, it might actually be a little short. Yeah, it seemed like it, I'm not gonna lie. Video fail. <laughs> okay, okay, you good? Why don't you just get like this bolt, make it like like space it out, make it closer, yeah. right? That's what I was thinking. But unless if you can put like spaces right here on both sides here, and then make it closer, right? Yeah, and then you can make that side closer too. Yeah, I know. And plus, there's a plastic part that goes on top of it. I don't know if it'll fit. Oh god. All right, so it actually just started raining, and I'm gonna wrap up the car and probably finish this video another day when it's a lot nicer. So give me one second. All right, so today is a new day. We're still working on the harness bar. I got my dad to help me out because I didn't, I couldn't understand how I would mount this to here without deleting this piece. Because this piece is actually like, it actually makes the interior look good. There's good news and bad news. Obviously the good news is we mounted the harness bar and it actually looks pretty good. The bad news is I don't have OEM seat belts anymore and they are all, over here i don't have these seat belts and i disconnected the like the airbag light sensor or whatever i hope there's no airbag light that comes on i'm gonna have to start the car to see once we have this all in right now we're just bolting on the the support mount going down underneath the seat here and after that it should be all good to go other than tying the harness to the actual harness bar We kind of skipped ahead a little bit and because this was mainly like a, like a two-handed job, the whole thing is already in. This is the finished product. I think it looks really good. I might take off the anti-perfect sticker here just because it's not like centered. It was centered for Kevin's car, but not so much mine. I still have to finish rolling up this uh, harness, but this cleans up the rear end of the interior so much. It looks really good. Huge shout out to Kevin for selling me this and uh, give, actually just giving this to me, but I didn't want him to give it to me. But it looks really good. I really like it. If you guys want to install a harness bar like this from NRG on your Evo 10, I did have to change these bolts because these are specialty bolts and they are two inches long. Change that. And also one other thing is the driver's side. I personally like to sit a little bit laid back in the seat. So I'm happy that the mounting point here was down there. But for the passenger side, I couldn't get it as laid back for say because the ball joint down there only pivots side to side instead of this way because that's the only mount point on the driver's side there's like a little hole here that's the only issue here i did in the passenger seat it's not uncomfortable but like i said i'm really happy with this harness bar it makes it a lot better and i can actually use my rear seats now if i'm in that situation and i'm in the evo i can use my rear seats so that's pretty awesome i'm really happy with this 
there's no exhaust on this too. We had to disconnect it, but. Oh, there is an airbag light. Oh, she is. Okay, so because there is an airbag light, we're gonna have to put this thing back. This is the original seat belt. My original issue was where I was gonna mount this, but we might just zip tie this whole thing and mount this back just so we can plug in the airbag thing back here so the car thinks that everything on the airbag is good and uh, we'll have to hide this inside the car. So I put back the OEM seat belt and I wrapped a rag and a zip tie around it just so it doesn't make any rattles inside the trim here. So hopefully that'll eliminate all rattles and our airbag light's gonna go away. We got the battery connected and all the airbag sensors uh, plugged back in. I was able to hide it like uh, you guys saw in the last clip. We're gonna go ahead and see if there's an airbag light. So I'll start it for a little bit. Bingo, doesn't look like there. we have any airbag light. The only light that's on is the TPMS and the handbrake. And since I had the car, I never had TPMS, so I think we're good here. This is where I'm gonna have to end the video. I'm super, super happy with how the harness bar came out and it looks really, really good. I'm gonna end up working on some rims right now for the Z but you'll see that in the next couple videos and again huge shout out to Kevin for giving me the the harness bar it looks really good and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did remember to leave a like subscribe and join the Annie perfect society peace out and make it happen